Grayson, you're front of the town. Team award, um, cool. Looks like I played a pretty good game. Definitely some some throws and stuff I wanted back. Uh, I don't think I played my best game, but uh, my teammates, you know, propelled me forward. And uh, you know, this is uh, a team award for sure. Skyler, how special was it to get that turnover? I was just happy that I could make a play for my team. Uh, you know, we needed something to happen. We needed a little momentum shift, and uh, uh, I was just trying to do everything I could for my team. And I'm, I'm lucky I got it out, and, and Dre picked it up. And, that was a, it was uh, something I'm proud to do for the team. We're all up for questions here. Just uh, you know, looking back on your six-year career here, man, you know, we talk about it all the time, all the highs and lows, just being able to go out this way as opposed to, you know, last year you could have left, but you wanted to come back and have been that loss, but being able to go out and win in the same bowl game, just how special of a night it's been for you. Yeah, um, you know, you want to you want to end it right. You want to have, have, you know, that that last uh, that last win under your belt and finally get to hold the trophy up. Uh, so. You know, it, it's an incredible feeling. I, I couldn't imagine uh, going out any other way, and, and there's no there's no better end to my career here. Um, and the, the young guys will carry on the tradition, and, and I'm, I'm proud of the work that they put in, and you know, Coach is set up for success in the future. Sir, uh, both of you, Grayson and Silas, how meaningful was this win for Coach Chadwell to get this win for him? Oh, uh, yeah, it, it's uh, it's huge. You know, we've talked about this for a long time. Uh, we got the opportunity to come to the Cure Bowl last year. Didn't get to, you know, finish it off the way we wanted to. But uh, it's great to send these seniors off, Silas, and, and the guys that really got us to this point. Uh, no better feeling than b being able to send them off on, on a high note. And obviously, Coach Chow will lead, uh, led us to this point. And uh, great achievement for him, leading us to our first ever uh, bowl win in school history. Yeah, like Greg said, um, you know, it, we're, we're happy that we could go out there and, and win the game, you know, for, for everybody. Everybody's a part of Coastal. All the players, all the coaches, the sports staff, uh, you know, athletic trainers, cheerleaders, fans, everybody. Uh, you know, first first bowl win in school history. That's a special monument uh, for us to have and for us to be able to achieve. And, you know, we're, we're happy to do it for Coach Chabot. We love him and he's a great leader of this program. Hey, Silas, if you could talk about the fourth quarter and what changed for the defense and the improvement of the stoppage and, and, and just what was it? A fourth down stop, a turnover, and then the uh, the last play of the game. Yeah, I mean, uh, we, we, we had a big fourth quarter, you know, that's that's crunch time. And we, we pride ourselves at Coastal um, on being a fourth quarter team. You know, you, you, you fourth quarter, all the chips are on the line. You know, that's when, uh, that's when you make your plays, and that's when the true character of your team comes out. Uh, we've been through a ton of adversity, all the guys on our team, our team in, in general has been through a ton of adversity, and that was just a little bit more adversity for us to overcome. Um, and, you know, cheers to the guys. Proud, proud of every one of my teammates. We all bowed up and, um, you know, got it done in the fourth quarter. Grayson, we've seen you step up and make plays to win the game on offense, but how was it to kind of see it from the other side and watch from the sideline, and how stressful was it for you that you didn't really have control over, but how confident were you that the defense was going to step up and make a play? You know, it's, uh, to be honest, definitely uh, maybe a little stressed out, but honestly not too stressed out. Uh, everything in me believes in these guys on defense. You know, every drive they came off. You know, and I and I, had a great plan on offense. They were running the ball great, and you know, every time our defense came off the field, I just told them, keep the guys up, keep going. You know, we're we're gonna keep playing hard. Somebody's gonna make a play. Something's gonna go our way. So, you know, just keeping them guys up uh, the whole the whole game, and you know, our offense really you know propels off our defense, and our defense you know um, uh, do, does well. You know feeding off our offense. So, you know, just us keeping each other in the game and, you know, just continuing to play no matter what happens. And then Grayson and Silas, big picture wise, what does this win mean to Coastal Carolina and the future of the program? Yeah, uh, it, it's great. Um, momentum going into the off season um, for us. We got, we're going to have a young team next year. A lot of guys leaving. So, you know, this shows the young guys that not only can we get here, we can get it done and, and we can bring some hardware back to uh, Coastal Carolina. So this is a very big win for us. Yeah, like Gray said, um, you know, it's the first first bowl win in, in school history, something that's never been done here at Coastal. So uh, it kind of sets the standard, and you know we were able to finish the season on a good note, and 
know, that's something that the guys and the you know the young guys on the team and the freshmen, all the guys coming in can can take into all season training. And you know, we've been here, we, we've been to the, to the to a bowl, we won the bowl. Um, you know, get a little extra extra jewelry, and uh, you know, take that and, and let that motivate them working into the next season, um, so they can have another successful year and hopefully win another bowl game. And Silas, CJ Brewer's in some obvious pain today. What does it say about his sheer will and determination to help him to play through it? He's a warrior. Uh, 52 will give everything for his team. Um, he has for for six years. Um, there's nobody that I would that I would rather have in front of me playing. Um, you know, I had no doubt that he w he went down the first time. I had no doubt he was going to come back in and give everything he had to this team because um, that's the type of person he is. That's the type of player that he is. Um, like I said, he's a warrior. And then last one last thing for Silas. Um, just talk about this your career. You know, you and the super your, your super seniors. You know, just looking back on this entire journey you guys have had with the Coastal Carolina program? It's, it's special. Um, it, I have a, a ton of fond memories about it. Um, you know, we came in and we were in a transition year going up to FBS from, from the, the Big South Conference, got invited to the Sunbelt Conference, and we came in, uh, played my, my retro freshman year, and uh, we struggled a lot, you know. It's, it's not easy to, to keep getting yourself at practice and, and motivated to go play games when you've lost nine games in a row. Um, but we had a, a group of young guys, that, the seniors on this team right now, that, that bought into that and you know, said, you know what, we're just going to keep trying to get better. Every day, every year, we're just going to keep trying to get better. Um, and buy into the coach's plan. Coach Chadwell took over. Um, and the, all those guys that you see out there, CJ Brewer, me, Teddy, everybody, we all bought into his plan. And um, you know, like you, see, like you can see the success speaks for itself. We, we won, I don't know how many games, only lost three games in the past two years with Coach Chadwell. Um, so that speaks for itself. And you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just just proud of this team. You know, they, we, we were doubted before last season. We got picked, finished last in the conference, and have won the Sun Belt Championship. Um, you know, a lot of a lot of people saying we're one hit wonder. And, you know, we came up this year uh, and won 11 games. So it, it's special to to know where we started, and where we where we began, and uh, to see how far we've come. Yeah, it's great, man. Uh, you know, he's worked hard for it all year. He finally got his chance when Reese went down, and we knew what we had in him. You know, this summer we saw what he could do. So uh, he's going to be the player of the year in this conference, you know, in, in the years to come. So definitely a, a great we weapon with him. Uh, obviously the speed, but he's developing into, you know, a full running back, uh, being able to, you know, pick up blitzes and run down field, catch the ball. So great weapon in Braden, and uh, I'm excited to play with him in years to come. That's something that I'll, I'll touch on, too. Braden's probably the fastest dude I've ever played against. Um, He's a menace on the other side, trying to trying to game plan against him, being at practice, trying to cover him. Um, and like Grace said, he's developing incredibly. He's going to be a great back for us. Thanks, guys. Congrats on the WA Pure Bowl win. Thank you. I'll wait forever, baby. <laughs> hey, when did I get a, when was my fourth touchdown pass? I don't remember that. Yeah,